Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 7, let's play Getsu Fumaden. Okay, right now I'm still in the third cave, and Buddy said not to take the first right you see. So I'm going to do just that. There we go. I guess I can take the next one. Or I think I'm better off taking the one after that. Hmm, might as well. Okay, now I think I'll go to the left. Let's see what's over here. Oh, seems safe to me, and there was a life potion. That's good. Oh, but there had to be an encounter, too. Okay, this guy is not too bad. I can handle him. The only problem is I practically lost a good portion of my health fighting him. I mean, I can still handle him, it's just that I just ran into some bad luck. Oh, here we go again. Oh, it's the same guy! He's back again! He's a very motivated guy, I'll tell you that much. Problem is, he's always so close to you. So, of course, you're gonna take a lot of damage. That makes this guy a pain in the ass. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, that was the door I just came out of. That's right, I didn't go up far enough. Makes sense. Oh, another fight. Aw, oh, that's a Naga guy again. Okay, maybe it's a girl, because I can see the boobs. There! Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Ugh, another fight. Okay, that went well. Uh, I'll go this way. Okay, I should be pretty close to where the boss is. Maybe it's in this door? Yes, it is! Okay, I'm gonna need my talisman, of course. And the top. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of health before I get to the boss. So let's hope I get plenty here. Not like that, of course. That's just losing health. Uh-oh. I'm running pretty low. I can't hit him from here, though. That sucks. Oh, good. Ah! Uh, that just nullified everything I gained. I like to get full health before I face the boss. That's ideal. If I don't get it, I might consider backtracking just for the sole purpose of getting close to it. Otherwise, I'll just have a difficult time. Looks like I'm getting pretty close to the end. Hmm. Is that close enough? Alright, let's try one more. Hopefully, both of these guys give me health. Yeah, close enough. One better than none. Okay, let's go. Let me put my top back on. And it's gonna be boss time. And it looks like I'm facing a sword master of some sorts. Let's see. Let me try the blue orb. I think that should nullify the sword power. There, I can just do this! It's cheap, I know, but it works. I mean, all it's gonna keep using is its sword to shoot at you. And I don't have a range attack that's going to make the fight difficult. There, I win! Cheap, I know, but it works. So there, I get the third and final wave sword. So I can finally use them. Hey, 
Let's see. Yep. All three right there. <coughs> now, my next destination is actually that red palace from much earlier. Now, watch what happens when I actually use the sword. It functions like the rock breaker, but it's a range attack that does a lot of damage. So, in other words, I have an uber powered weapon ready to kill everything in my way. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna meet you back at the Red Palace that we met much earlier in the game, so give me a moment. Okay, I'm back, let's continue. Remember when I was here much earlier in the game and I had to go through like the wall, the maze of skulls just to get to the second island? And that's where I got the first wave sword? Remember, we saw a Red Palace, or a Pink Palace, that we couldn't reach. But once you get all three wave swords, walk over here. For some reason, a bridge just forms for no reason whatsoever. Like, no magical effects whatsoever. It's like, hey, we're a bridge, just walk on us. And I'm like, okay! I shall go to the Red Palace! Which, for some reason, looks like a standard gate area. The enemies are tough, though. They can take, like, two blasts of the Wave Sword. Granted, how many of them are close to each other at the time. You get hit with multiple Wave Blasts at the same time, like when they're so close to each other, then, well, it's gonna take them out in one hit. If they're spread out apart, then, well, two hits. But anyways, it's not so bad, considering this is the Red Palace, which for some reason is exactly the same. They don't throw in a completely different area at you. It's just something you've already seen. And that's it! That's all you do! All this was was one simple area for devils in their underwear with baseball bats to home in on you. And then you walk to the White Palace. Another palace we've seen earlier in the game that we couldn't reach. And we just fall down a big pit. And this is where the boss is! Believe it or not, it's the gatekeeper from before that we actually got the Devil's Gates from, or the Devil's Passes. And for some reason, he's pretty pissed. I guess he's just a bit of a sore loser that'll jump on you and shoot fireballs. But he's not that bad. And once you get that taken care of, you gotta take on some kind of kabuki warrior with a shield that keeps throwing knives at you. And unfortunately, the shield does block the wave sword attacks. Your best advantage is to get really close so that the sword will always hit him. Or her. Just watch out for the shield because it will th throw you back. And then you take on the real final boss, the Dragon Master. A little bit of trivia from what I heard is that the Dragon Master is actually based on the Yu-Gi-Oh card Ryukoki. In fact, Getsufuma is also a Yu-Gi-Oh card, which is pretty interesting to say the least. He only has like two attacks, which is to walk back and forth, keep flailing his arm, and shoot fireballs at you. Those are his only two attacks. So just keep firing the wave sword at his heart, which is actually some kind of red circle held by an open rib cage. And that's all you do. Just give it everything you got. This is the last battle, after all. So surprisingly, he doesn't take that much hits. I think I'm going to need the invincibility suit for a little bit. So I'm taking too many hits. Got him! I win! It's over! I didn't even need the top for the final phase. Or this battle in general. I win, dear brothers! I'm better than you, you all suck! Ha 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 ha! Uh, for the hell of it, just get your wave swords back. There, you better now? Okay, now my brothers can rest in peace. What do they do to earn getting into heaven? Well, that looks pretty peaceful. Looks like the dark spirits are going away. We did defeat the Dragon Master. That Dragon Skull is now gone. And everything is back to normal. Yes, that's all it took. And that's it! That's Getsufumaden for the NES! Surprisingly, the credits are still in Japanese. 
so I won't be able to read that. But yeah, that was one hell of an experience, I will admit, for a Halloween special that I didn't get a chance to finish until November 11th of the day I'm recording this. But that doesn't matter, so this is the Banga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Let's watch the rest of the ending, shall we?